Today is Yud Aleph, Tammuz. Yud Aleph, Yud Beis, Yud Gimel. We are going to speak about Yud Beis Tammuz, which is the day that the previous Rebbe was redeemed, released from jail. And this also helps us in our Avoid Hashem, as we mentioned, Parashas Chukas. What is the Messias Nefesh of the previous Rebbe? We know the previous Rebbe went to jail, and he went to jail for what? There were times, if you read different books about history, the Jewish people were totally broken. At that time, communist Russia, they did everything to go and break Yiddishkeit. They did everything to go and uproot Yiddishkeit. No one had the power to go against Stalin. No one had the power to stand up against him. I was told a story. I never verified it, but it's a beautiful story. I told a story by a Litvisha person. And he told me, Yudbez Thomas is my yomtiv also. So I asked him, why is it your yomtiv? You're a regular Russian Litvisha person. He said, you don't understand. Our family, my older brother, his name is Moshe Glazer. Our, my oldest brother, he learned in yeshiva, and all the yeshivas were closed down. And then, when all the yeshivas were closed down, he noticed that there were a few bachim which still learned in what they called machteret, which means underground yeshivas, which would always find a different place because Every day was mysterious nefesh. You found someone, they would be killed or exiled, both the teachers and the students. So they no one would tell anyone where they are. And this person followed them a few weeks and they tried to get him to speak with them and they didn't want to speak to him because who knows? We don't know this guy. He might be, look like a yeshiva bacha, but be an informer. And most people were those days. However, one day, he hid, and he followed them to one of their places, and they got scared. And he said, I'm not out to inform about you. I see every day you guys, and I want to learn Torah. My yeshiva was closed down. And they said, you can really trust you? He gave him reasons why he can trust him. Finally, they gave trust to him, and he learned in their yeshiva, their underground. At that time, he said, he learned that for a little while, and he was saved, Baruch Nis, in a spiritual way, and through this, he says, I and my brothers were saved. And then, they were saved through different people in Eretz Yisrael, which brought them to Eretz Yisrael, so they were also saved by Gashmias. They were all saved in a physical way. However, when they were saved, he said, the previous Rebbe went, and he didn't just care about himself. He cared about all of Kali Yisrael. And to go and to fight against everyone was just like something impossible. And he added a beautiful story, which, as I said, this I never found it in the Bavich, but this, I'll tell you the story as I heard. He said when the Chofetz Chaim left, who left Russia, they asked him, what is going to be with Russia? On whose shoulders are you leaving it? So he said, on the shoulders of the younger man, of this young person, because the previous Rebbe was 40, in his 40, 40, early 40s. And later on, when the previous Rebbe got out, so the Chafetz Chaim was still living. And he said the Chafetz Chaim went to see the Friedrich Rebbe, and even though Chavetz Chaim was at like 90 already at that time, or nine, over 90, he went, and he was a short person, he went, and he was a Kohen, he went to the, so they asked him, why are you going? He said, why am I going? I thought the only reason I can leave is because I can, the little of Yiddishkeit, which can remain, so the free of the Kreber can do with me or without me. But I didn't think you can have mysterious nefesh to build Yiddishkeit. That's like to jump on a third-story 
not from a third story, but upon a third story. You can't jump with Messias Nefesh. To build Yiddishkeit with Messias Nefesh, that I thought is impossible. But he did the impossible. So for that Messias Nefesh, I have to go and see him first.